Hey Jessica. Hi. We are back, back. with more uncomfortable, I said uncomfortable, <laughs> pet questions for you because you're so good at it and people like it so much that they're demanding more. They've demanded <laughs> more. Is that okay? That's all right. Okay, so cool. So can I just jump right into this? I mean, is yeah. there anything you'd like to say or are we just going to jump right in? I, I mean, might as well just jump right Cameras in. Cameras are rolling. Let's do they're it. Roll. <laughs> okay, so the first question comes from Annette. Annette is in Albany, New York, Annette. and okay. Annette actually has a pet sitter that she's had for a number of years. Okay. However, just recently, just recently, within the past couple months, um, when the sitter comes to her house, because she does a lot of traveling, okay. um, the dog will start crying and runs away from the sitter, mm -hmm. and she is very afraid as to what she thinks going on, but what's your opinion? Yeah, that's that's rough, especially when you've had somebody for so long. But um, my opinion it, on this, Annette, and I, I know it's uncomfortable. I, like just the I, thinking about what's going on is uncomfortable. But you are your dog's advocate. Um, trust your dog and trust their instincts. It sounds like uh, maybe something has changed in your pet sitter's life, and they are no longer being nice to your dog. Um, if your dog is scared, there's a reason. So I would definitely say to trust your instinct on this. Um, if it were me, I wouldn't ever let this person come back to my house. Um, so I would say maybe you should be looking around for another pet sitter. Um, for anybody out there watching who's like, well, what's going on? I don't understand. If your dog is acting like it is be exhibiting these behaviors around someone where they're like whining um, running away from them doesn't want to be near them generally and i mean honestly i don't i don't know of a time when this wouldn't be the case that person has done something not so good to your dog to elicit these behaviors um and I'm not saying that maybe it was something unintentional i don't know but if the behavior is that strong there's I mean almost no doubt in my mind that something something bad has happened between your dog and this person so I would definitely say I, I, you know for me I would be looking for a new pet sitter uh, one thing I will add and this is something we do uh, as, whether we're traveling or not we have cameras in the home there's nothing wrong with having cameras in your home um, and you know you can let them know you don't have to let this is your home you can have cameras in it um, I would say you know, like you may not want them in like a bathroom or something but even if you right now decide to go to a new center I would still set up cameras in your home um, the ones that we have we can log on 24 hours a day and see what's going on and we especially love this uh, when we are out of town not just not not just because we want to see what's going on, but because I miss my pets and I want to log in and see them and um, just, you know, see them living their life and enjoying, you know, laying on the sofa or whatever's going on. Um, and it just brings me a little bit of happiness, a little bit of home when we're not home. So I would say you could, you could definitely add some cameras to your house too and kind of monitor what's going on. Wow, that's a really good idea. I think the camera thing's a great idea. I think a lot of people should probably have that. Nothing else yeah. to protect your property. And Absolutely. You know, like you said, you get a bond with a dog, you get to see your dog again. Yeah. All right, our next question comes from Salvatore. Salvatore is Salvatore. in Las Vegas, and he's an okay. avid gardener. He loves okay. to garden. And he, you know, is concerned because of COVID and crime and all that. So he has gotten a uh, German Shepherd and ever since he got the German Shepherd, you know, like I said, he's a he's a gardener, and the German Shepherd is digging up every flower bed that Salvatore has. So, what would you suggest? This is a new dog. It was a puppy, and it's growing up, and he just doesn't want this to be a lifelong problem. Yeah, Salvatore. I first of all, I'm not sure how you're keeping gardens in Las Vegas, but good on you. And um, for digging in the flower bed, that's something that, I mean it's digging is natural for our dogs um, the one thing I would say over and above everything else is learn to work with your dog's natural behaviors and not to suppress them dangerous dangerous things can happen if we try to suppress behaviors um, especially natural behaviors in our pets um, digging is and digging is one of those dogs dig that's what they do so there are numerous different things we can do. Managing your dog's environment is going to be key. Um, 
providing them their own space to dig, providing them a space that is safe for them to dig, that is okay for them to dig, and training to, to work towards digging in that safe spot is going to be your best bet. Um, I would say, I, I know I've, talk, I've talked about this in other videos, I um, believe I even have a file on it in the group, so check the description below to join the group um, and we can discuss further. Um, and I, I can also point you in the direction of that file, which is absolutely free to you uh, when you join the group. So, you know, there, there's different routes you can take, but the number one thing I would say is don't suppress the behavior um, because in the long run that will backfire on you. Work with your dog to provide a safe outlet for them to express their natural behaviors. Oh, that was awesome. That's, that's a really good idea. And I think, you know, sometimes we forget animals have certain things that's just ingrained in their minds and they're Absolutely. supposed to dig like your dog is jumping on you right now because she is. looks like she wants attention she, she wants does attention. want some attention even if you're even if you're video can, 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 can we can you get a shot of the her so we, everybody can see that <laughs> this is kim can you see what she's doing kimberly look at that she says yeah i want to be on camera too i want to be on camera too <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to our next question. Our next question comes from a lady named Margaret, Margaret. and she lives in Chicago. Um, she does okay. live in a high rise. She takes her dog out, you know, frequent basis to go outside and okay. all that. Um, but she's running into a problem. Her dog is a Cocker Spaniel and is 16, going on 17 oh, years wow. old. Um, she's had this dog since it was a puppy, but recently, just recently, her dog has not been interested in eating. Um, just not not interested at all. I mean, we'll eat a little bit, but just not much at all. It's, she says uh, the dog's always eating the same kibble its own the whole life, actually. And all of a sudden, the dog is not interested. What would you recommend to Margaret? Well, Margaret, um, first of all, thank you so much for taking such good care of your pet and especially your aging pet. Um, it's definitely something that we need to work at instilling in more people um, to be able to you know, we're our dog's whole world. So um, sticking with them through everything um, into their uh, golden years, as people would call them, is, is uh, thank you, I wanna say that. Um, and it's also not unusual as dogs age to maybe not want to eat as much and their appetites aren't as uh, good as they used to be when they were younger. I do hope and I would imagine, based on what I know about you so far, Margaret, that you are working closely with your vet as your dog ages to um, maintain those senior checkups every month, and you've discussed this with your vet already. Um, so hopefully your vet has provided you with some insight as, as to things you can do. But uh, the first thing I would say is it, it's, it's natural, um, but let's talk about feeding your dog something other than kibble. Um, it's definitely not the best thing for them to eat. And I know I have talked about this probably in every single one of these uncomfortable questions videos because it always seems to get brought up in questions. Um, people always, the trend is feeding our dogs kibble, right? Um, feeding our dogs fresh food is something that is natural. It's the best thing for them. And throughout history, it's what dogs have eaten. Uh, kibble has been forced upon them by humans. It's not natural. So let's first start talking about um, some fresh foods, um, hopefully balanced, but as your dog ages, uh, you know, feeding feeding fresh foods and getting them to eat sometimes outweighs the balance. I know with my aging cats right now, getting them to eat outweighs feeding them the most nutritious food. But um, you know, you have to kind of balance that. So I would say let's let's talk about feeding a fresh food diet. And again, I've talked about it in so many videos on my channel. We can go back to those videos. Um, join the group because I have free files in the group about the best foods you can feed your dog and why you shouldn't be feeding kibble. And those are completely free resources to you. All you have to do is join the group and there's a link in the description below. Um, and then let's even, if you do, for whatever reason, decide to stick with kibble, we can add other things to the kibble. We can add gravies, we can add fresh meats, um, even fresh vegetables. Let's find some really yummy treats for your dog to add in. Dogs 
generally love really um, like organ meats, whether it's liver or maybe chicken hearts. Or, so, there are so many things we can add in to boost our pet's appetite. Um, and, and I would say those are gonna be some really good things. In addition to some more holistic things we can do for our dog, like um, quality CBD oils, um, even uh, veterinary grade essential oils. There's so many things we can do um, to, to help our pets age gracefully. Um, so I would say to look into all of these things. And again, if you join the group, we can talk about it a little bit more in detail. And I have files on all of these things. And we've talked about all of these things in the group uh, before. So there's plenty of resources uh, just within the group for you. Uh, so definitely check the link in the description and go ahead and join the group. But there are lots of things uh, that you can do. And certainly right now, today, as you watch this video, we can start adding other foods to kibble. Um, to, to make it more enticing for your dog as you start researching, s transitioning hopefully to a fresh food diet for your dog because that's gonna be more natural for your dog. It's gonna be, um, the nutrition is gonna be much more bioavailable for your dog. So your dog is gonna thrive better on it and they're gonna be more drawn to eating it. So I, I, I think I, I tried to cover a lot and, and, and condense it as best I could, but there are lots of things we can do basically to, to help our dogs age gracefully and get them to eat. So awesome. <laughs> I hope that made That's sense. That's super, super helpful. And I know Margaret is very grateful for that. And like Jessica, if there's other people out there right now and they have questions, how do they get these questions to you? Because okay. um, I, I know you're, you're dying to get some more questions, but how do they get them to you? A few different ways. Um, you can post your questions in the comments below on this video. You can join the group and ask questions there. Um, and of course, you can contact me through my website, which is also linked in the description below. So lots of different ways that you can reach out and ask your questions, and then I can, of course, answer them for you. And guys, don't forget, subscribe to this channel if you want more stuff like this. You know, Jessica's gonna be here. The cool thing is, if you subscribe, a bell's gonna pop up, just a like bell. that right there. Yeah. And you wanna turn on all bell notifications, because when you do, guess what? You become part of her family, and she can notify you every single time she does a video. It's gonna make you special, right? Of course, you wanna be special. Absolutely. Anything else you wanna add, Jessica? Yes, give this video a thumbs up and let YouTube know you liked it. It's the best compliment you can give, and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here with me today in this YouTube video. Again, post comments and questions down below. I love to hear from you, and I hope you and your pets are doing well today. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.